Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we're still exploring the ship. We're, we've made it to the Citadel. Uh, we've talked to the Council. The Council's been like, eh, we can't help you. But uh, the Turians have provided a um, an olive branch, so to speak. If we can save their leader on their planet, we can go directly to the individual leaders of the species to get assistance as opposed to going to the council. Um, but we're still exploring the Normandy. We still haven't talked to everybody. There's the Robodog. Robodog, bark. Um, that is extremely specific reference. So if you get that, double your bonus points. Um, let's talk to Cortez over here. Lieutenant Cortez, tell me about you, your life, who you are. You haven't been on any of the Normandies prior to this. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Eddie's there, soldier. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's, What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega. Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. All right, Cortez. Tell me about the armory. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. It's a well-oiled machine. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. All right. Um, tell me about your service record. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet, serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. All right, tell me about this ground vehicle you got. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Um, what about the uh, shuttle? The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. I like how he's not even looking directly at the Kodiak. He's just kind of looking off to the side. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Uh, what about your family? You were stationed on Earth. You have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, that's fair. Well, carry on, Cortez. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. All right. Robodog. You do nothing. Random people at the back of the of the docking bay. Why are you even there? Go back to work. James! You are doing a lot of pull-ups. 
One day in my life I will do a pull-up. I promise. One day. Today is not that day. But one day. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? To be yeah. fair, they didn't actually... The well, the council didn't ask directly. The, just the Turian leader. Sounds like fun. Or the Turian yeah, council the member. Turian homeworld. You come down here for something? Or are you just looking? I did just come to chat. But I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. Yeah, you set me up. It was an easy layup. Not sure what there is to talk about. Who are you? I've never met you before. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Uh, sure? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. Don't let my good looks oh, fool you, no, we're punching. I okay. Scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Ah! <laughs> nice. What do you, mean, what? you know, that's the thing with this game. It, it's very difficult to dedicate myself just to a Paragon or Renegade style. Which I feel like is the point, but... The game also wants you to dedicate to one or the other to get, like, one of the best uh, outcomes in the confrontation with uh, the Elusive Man. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. I was being awesome, I suppose. You nope. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I am. With my fists. I do. Are you a shrink, too? No. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Ah, oh, alright. Available in medbay. Let us go up to the medbay. Um... Which is... There. Um, so that's the odd thing also in regards to Mass Effect's dialogue system. Like, a lot of other dialogue systems... Um, will give you multiple choices. And then, let's say I'm playing the game. And i like looking at what choice I want to make. Most other games... It's better for me to not read the choice aloud. Because then the character is just going to say the choice anyway. Reassign powers. Hmm. It's not... Just reviewing some charts. All right. Well, let's move on. Um, where, 
So I'd read the line of dialogue in the other game, and then the character would just say the line of dialogue verbatim. And so it beca- it's, it's pointless for me to read the line of dialogue, because then you'll just hear the line of dialogue twice. Um, whereas with uh, this game, um, they give you a... Like, this game is kind of like the Tex Murphy series, in a way, in which, like, they give you an idea of what you're supposed to say, of what your character says. And then your character says something differently. Uh, the main difference between those two is that Tex Murphy tends to say, like, it doesn't really specify, like, like, I feel like Mass Effect is a little bit more detailed in what it's saying, and then the message it says sometimes can feel a little differently. Whereas, like, um, Tex Murphy games give you the flavor of the text. Like, a uh, sarcastic response, as opposed to the text that sounds like a, res- a sarcastic response. But now, the world has opened up to us. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy's stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Let's see, we're at the Citadel. That is our main mission. Alright. What is over here? There's the Cerberus Lab. Shall we go to the Cerberus Lab first? Let's go to the Cerberus Lab first. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, and tell fuel as you fly around a system, but beware. However, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you've completed a mission before returning. Alright. I found something. Alright. Ah, uh, okay, so planet scanning does return, I forgot about that, but it returns to a much lesser extent. This planet, maybe? All right, let's let's leave, I guess. Come back later. Hmm, is fuel an issue? Signal confirmed. Ah. Ah, here we go. The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Alright. Where is the lab? Was that it? Oh no, never mind. That's where the lab is. Let us go land there. Take it out. Deal with Cerberus. We're going to take our only... Ooh. We have multiple choices. Hmm...
Let's go with this version. Uh, no. Let's go with the, the default for the first mission. All right, James, Liara, suit up. Don't think I actually have any mods just yet. Like, are they affected by uh, percentage? Like, it doesn't seem like it shows a percentage in regards to power re recharge speed. So it doesn't, I don't know if they're affected by weight. Or if they're, yeah, they're more specifically limited by weapon class as opposed to myself. Um, and I only have one uh, heavy pistol and one light pistol. I do have two... Assault Rifles and one Shotgun. Alright. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. You know, if there's anything that this future of Mass Effect uh, shows off that I feel like we could... Like, any small thing, like the ability to fly, travel to the stars, would be amazing. But, I mean, any little, tiny thing where it would be like, oh, that would be really nice to have. Um, it would be touchscreens that are reliable. I feel like using a touchscreen on my phone is... Especially for control, like like for video games, especially, um, is a bit on the unreliable side, though a lot of it could easily be me. Oh, hello, money. Okay, this is definitely one of those uh, multiplayer stages, if I remember correctly. And oh, hello. No, I will not aim. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, and then you've got very specific right, systems that... Oh, I leveled up. That makes sense as part of, like, um, a squad-based multiplayer thing. Cash. Because this is what you did in the uh, multiplayer game. You completed object. You did, you did these little squad-based missions. So they essentially, there are these side missions. In the main game that are single player. Are just expanded upon. For the multiplayer.
and then let's get rid of you. Earlier that day, it will be easy. Oh, hello. And one more. There we go. Stay focused. This isn't really, I would have expected it to be over. Probably should have aimed, that's fine. This has a much longer, uh, only one bullet per clip, yeah. Get rid of you. Excuse me, sir. Now who is shooting at me? It is you! You are the one who is shooting at me. But yeah, it definitely feels like the... Ooh, what's that? Like the combat in this game is especially well done. Will only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. My servers would call that a failure. Aha! What are you... Liara, what are you doing? There's a bad guy. Just... Standing right next to you, and you were just kind of like... Why are you standing in the air, Centaurian? Oh, and he's gone. Are you putting down a turret engineer? Well, luckily it's out of sight. So it is out of mind. Oh, hello. I miss both of those shots. All right, it is done. We have, this is a pretty massive base that we kind of just landed in and attacked. But it's it's interesting that like, it's a mission that's set up not necessarily to win completely as much as to gain advantage of. 
determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. And the strikes that are being sent against the facility are... The, um... The multiplayer missions. Alright, so we've got the Crucible with Javelin Missile Launchers. And Cerberus Research Data. We've still got a ways to go for the war effort. Alright. I want to say that room has always kind of been there for... Oh yeah, Specialist Trainer, we still haven't talked to you. Specialist Trainer, tell us about yourself. Amanda, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Yes, but she has a special... A specialty toothbrush. I could have helped you out with that. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Uh, tell me about joining the military. I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. And I th that's the kind of thing that leads to a very military-centric civilization. Uh, the more obvious one being like Starship Troopers, where service grants citizenship. But when, like, civil... When civil products, when things like an education is barred off because of financial need... Um, when military is used not necessarily because you want to represent your country, but because you see it as a means to an end, uh, and that end is locked off for whatever reason, whether it be financial reason or citizenship reason, that creates a certain more military-centric uh, civilization. Financial reasons create even more issues, in which case you're basically setting up the poor to be the... Uh, the soldiers of the rich, but that is another story. Reaction to the war. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying, but I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. And sometimes you need that little bit of comfort to hold it together, even if it is just a s awesome toothbrush. What's your lab job? You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Oh, okay. So that was the issue that I believe there was with the quantum entanglement, is that it limited things to only one source. But if they can do multiple sources... Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive. And counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. And I also, I just realized I never bothered talking to Joker. So. Let us go talk to Joker and Edie. I still haven't talked to Edie yet. Hey, 
Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Nice. Like, it looks like they're barely even touching the screens, but it, the fair, it, it, it implies an incredibly intuitive interface that you can just kind of wave your hands in front of. Though I suppose that goes to that entire idea of, like, technology, uh, technology that is uh, sufficiently advanced because indistinguishable from magic. Like, if you showed somebody, um... from the past, an iPhone today. From the past. If you showed somebody uh, from like the 60s an iPhone today, would, they, would their minds be blown? And then there's me complaining about the idea that touchscreen controls are tricky to use. Where is this? Where's this other one? Ah, there it is. <laughs> All right. So we're done there. There's nothing for us to do there. And then there's the mission at Eden Prime. Is there a point to us to going uh, to the other Reaper controlled areas yet if there's no side mission directing us there? don't know. Alright, let us go back to Eden Prime after all these years. How much time has passed since... Like, this is 2183. What year is it now? I don't know. But supposedly Cerberus has dug up a new... a new um, Prothean artifact in Eden Prime. There was already one. Apparently now there are two. Oh yeah, I leveled up. Um, increase force and damage of squad mates' powers. Increase your own ooh, weight capacity. All right. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. Thank you, Shepard. A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Lola. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. 
The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. You know, if I was Eden Prime, I would just right, stop digging after the first Mass Effect. I'd be like, maybe Cerberus we should stop uncovering stuff. Because we've already done enough. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Even Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. I was gonna say, nobody sure. deserves that. Alright, let's see if we can find... Survivors... Info... The artifact... Wait a second. Isn't the artifact an ally? It's been a while. The artifact is an ally, I think. Uh, that uh, Cerberus dug up. This is the the in, like the DLC mission that um that was like the day one DLC. Uh, what was the his character's name? Javik, I want to say. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from the pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. If these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again. There's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. Liara. The fields are completely different, and uh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. Liara, he didn't ask you if you studied the dinosaurs. He asked you if you found the dinosaurs, which you could possibly do so during searching for the civilization things on accident. It's possible. There, that's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on islands. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Nothing. In your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. Probably the more. The Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prized knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, 
Finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. I think he's actually a, a warrior. The life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! Did I got you? Did I got you? Did I get you? Ah. Mm. All right. Let let's get up and get him. More of them will be coming back. It's what they do. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. By the way, have you seen Andor? That is an excellent plot plot point for uh, Andor. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Anything in here? This is a pretty big area, I've got to say. You're dead. We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information with luck. The locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the service trap. They might even put him in charge. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Now that we know who the... Oh, hello. Who the traitor is. Did that work? That guy's still alive down there. Never mind. He's there. dead. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. I appreciate no bypass minigame. The last thing we need is more unlocking minigames. Lock picking, hacking, especially if you have to do it over and over again.
I'm guessing the others aren't going to see anything on the screen right now. And it's all going to be viewable only by Shepard. Because she's seeing the media as it was originally meant to be presented to the Protheans. duplicate that to open the life pod you understood that you didn't no all i saw was static cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success the prothean cipher you received on pharaohs it lets you see the images as a prothean would and understand their language whatever it does i saw the video and how they sealed the life pods perfect then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode hmm Okay, I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.